Hello, welcome to a new quest for bigger biceps video. This time being about my uh, tools for growing my biceps, so exercises. And first off, there's my upper one where I do hammer curls for brachialis and a bit of uh, forearms. But of course, that's going to give you a bit of biceps as well, so of course, I will count that as a bicep slash brachialis movement. And then there's lower body day where I wouldn't usually do uh, biceps, but I do a variation of pull ups and chin ups, meaning when I do chin ups or a rotation, sorry, meaning on the weeks that I do chin ups, I get bicep work from there. So I guess you could uh, count that in as well. And that's yeah, I forgot to mention the rep ranges. So the hammer curls are three sets of six to 12. And the um, chin ups are three sets of six to 12 as well. And then there's a rest day, so there's no bicep work, obviously. And then there is a upper two, where there is bicep work. And that bicep work is in the shape of a spider curl. So curl where I lie on the bench and a curl like this. And it's sort of uh, like similar to, uh, to a preacher curl, I guess. And I used to do concentration curls on that day, but I switched them because I ended up in like a weird situation with the concentration curls where I was, I was chasing progress rep PRs a lot and my form started to get a bit swingy. That's not the fault of the exercise, that's that's just me. So I could have stuck to those, but I wanted to switch anyway because I've want, been wanting to do spider curls for a while, so I switched. And so far, I like them. So the spider curls are three sets of eight to 12. And then it's a lower body day where I don't do any bicep or brachialis stuff. And then there's an arm day where I, in the first superset of that day, do a towel curl. So a towel curl where I hold on to one big towel through plates and I curl like this, like a pinwheel sort of hammer curl. I think I've heard people call it a hangman curl that you could do with a rope, but I do it with a towel, so it's the same thing. And that's for brachialis and a bit of forearms. And on that day I do a neutral grip pull up, which isn't for which isn't for biceps really, but it includes uh, quite a lot of brachialis as well because I do it in a specific way. So and I do it quite heavy. So we becomes kind of brachialis movement, but I wouldn't count that as a biceps or brachialis movement. That's more of a forearm thing. So that's hammer curls. Every other week it's chin-ups, which I guess you could count. Uh, hammer curls, three sets of six to 12. Chin-ups, three sets of eight to 12. I'm oh, sorry, six to 12. Spidey curls, three sets of eight to 12. And rope curls, three sets of six to 10. So that's four movements, minus the chin-ups, uh, three. Three uh, isolation movements for biceps and brachialis. Same, for same uh, amount as triceps. Same amount of exercises as triceps. And uh, yeah, that's how I like it. Uh, I used to do more for no logical reason. I just did more because I didn't really know better. But I don't need more than that. And that's working very well for my own growth. So, yeah, that's it for biceps slash brachialis. And I will make these videos again for other muscles as well. And my program is changing a bit now. Or, it's, the program isn't changing, but the exercise selection is uh, being switched around a little bit. So, might, might have to update that. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,